Okay, so this is a 16 to 1700 rated game from Masters of Arabia. Uh, I think this is uh, this is game three, and it's Team Islands. And um, in blue, we've got Swiss Boy who sent it in. He's mm -hmm. playing as Vikings um, on this big clump of land over here, and Wishfried, Wishfried in red, playing as Vikings as well. Um, over on the other big clump of land. So. I don't know what you want to do. Do you want to speed things up, or should I do it your way and play it in oh, play it in slow speed the whole time? <laughs> Are you even there? I can hear things going off. What's happening? Yeah. Um. Oh God, no! That was a bad idea. I shouldn't have tapped out. What's going on? <laughs> anyway, Fee, are you there? Yeah. Or are you still are you trying to stalk this girl? You should probably pay attention to the stream while we're doing this. And then you can send her send her messages later. Mm. Yeah. to you, man. I, no, it's cool. Let's go. Cool. Okay. Um so yeah, I, I just said who's who. So they're both playing as Vikings on on Team Islands. Which is quite a cool map, not something you actually see in one V one very often. And uh um, mm, I don't really like Team Islands because, like, the thing of this map is that you need to upgrade as fast as you can with the best economy you you can possibly have. You know, mm. that's the thing on the on this map. So, upgrading uh, fast is like a, a totally uh, win thing for you. You know. Yeah. Oh god, pardon me. Yeah. Um, but also as well, I li I like the fact in Team Islands that because the island is so big, it's quite hard to com completely get visibility of your coast the whole time. In islands, for instance, uh, the islands are uh, smaller, and or even in migration, the islands are smaller, so you know that you're not going to get landed. Uh, or if you have people or scouts sort of on the coast, you can see if something's coming in. But on Team Islands, very very hard to keep the whole coast in sight and uh, check for check for landings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but like if you're a good player you kind of predict if the the other player is going to land you know because you see that he's not crushing or he just gave up on the water yeah. and you kind of like predict he's probably gonna land you you know so what yeah. you do is always uh explore the the island with your scout as much as you can mm -hmm. with in different areas and also sometimes I like to wall uh, because sometimes it's easy to wall on the forest right and put a little a uh, few outposts so yeah. you're pretty much safe yeah. it's not so hard as you see this this his map is actually fairly decent for that he's, he's kind of like in the middle of a load of trees so if he actually wanted to he could wall I guess but bear in mind this is like a 16 1700 game so a lot is possible anything could happen mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's that... the thing, if you if you want to improve, you always need to check on these things, you know. Hmm. I'm not sure Look what's going what on the... here, but... <laughs> Look what the expert players do on these maps, it's really interesting to see. Yeah, definitely. But the thing is, I always find when I'm watching lower rated games, or even my own games, because I play like crap most of the time, um, I do find that... Why is Skype popping up? Um, <laughs> I do find that... It's very unpredictable. A, a lot of pro games can be fairly predictable just due to the fact so that uh, there are a few fairly common strategies that you probably expect to see. But in mm -hmm. these kind of games, you could see so many weird and wonderful things that probably won't work, but it's so hard to predict. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, is, which is one of the things I do like about them, to be honest. Um, Blue just going out to make his dock. We're just going to get there before Red, that's for sure. And I'm not even sure if Red has found all of his sheep, because he's only got one left. And uh, Blue has a few left, so there's not really a lot going on. So that might just speed things up for a bit until we sort of get feudal. I remember the games of Jordan versus Doubt, and they were always really GG's on this map, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I love uh, watching Migration as well. That's one of my favorite maps. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, by the way, one important thing on this map is also that you need to be extra careful, especially if you're playing Vik Vikings War, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you want to land because you think you won the war uh, on post simp I mean, right? Yeah. So if you do that, Vikings is a really easy uh, civilization to defend from a rush because they have like a really strong economy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
it's not so hard to kill the landing. Not so hard to kill the landing, especially on Vikings War, you know. Yeah. So uh, sometimes if you do that, you tend to lose the the, ma the the game because of that. I remember the game of Jordan versus Dalt. I think Dalt landed Jordan, and he lost the 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 landing and lost the the game because he lost the water afterwards, right? right? Yeah. I'm not. I can't remember. It's, it's a while since they played there. Wait, wait, when was this? Oh no, the re the recent one. The best of twenty one. Oh. Yeah. Mm, I can't remember. My memory is <laughs> really bad, uh, especially when I watch so many games. I forget which is which. It was a really cool game. Mm, I should probably watch that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Vikings are quite cool. I, I actually do quite like Vikings. Um, although they don't have great cavalry, uh, you can still do a lot with them. Oh, uh, so Viper saying that it was Jordan who landed Dalt. Right. Oh, and he still won the game in the end. Okay, so mm. I I'm the one who <laughs> have a bad memory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but still, like uh, sometimes uh, I I lost a game recently versus a gun because of that. I tried to land and I lost the water and GG. Mm, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, it, you've got to be you've got to make sure you're confident in your landing there, because mm -hmm. for instance, if you go to land, the chances are you're not going to be making many boats. And mm -hmm. that's a, I th something that I see quite a lot is where a player assumes that they've won the water and they stop making boats, and exactly. then suddenly um, your opponents like mashed up a load of galleons somewhere or whatever they're actually making, um, and all of a sudden just like a huge army come out of nowhere and you're like crap I've lost the water, and they've got mm -hmm. so much water control then that they can go and swing the game from there. Yes. Mm. You need to uh, always be careful. By the way, wow. I think Swiss boy <laughs> needs needs to care with his economy. Yes, a little bit. Uh, that's yes. too many villagers on on the uh, berries right there for one. Mm -hmm. um, at this stage, he needs he needs a lot more villagers on wood, and he should. He's going up to. F oh no, he's not going up to feudal yet. That is why um, he should be going up to feudal. By yes, now, yes. <laughs> so. You should I always aim for to click uh, to go to feudal before nine minutes. It's really important that you try to do as as fast as you can. You know. I actually assumed he would have gone feudal by now. Um, so we need to say exactly why it is that he's not managed to get the resources so far. Well, I I think he's had too many on wood in the dark age. Um, at this at this time, he yeah he should have he should have made his two farms earlier with the uh, villagers who got, hunted the boar, even, and he should have perhaps gone for deer a bit earlier as well, but putting all the villagers onto berries is certainly not such a good idea. Yeah, it's it's just about, how, it's all about the build order, you know, mm -hmm. so I recommend him to watch the expert players and try to copy the build order, it's really important, especially on these kind of maps that you need to upgrade as fast as you can. Uh, so I uh, I had some students and I was teaching them the build order is one of the most important things on the early game. Yeah, the, I know? mean, the, the, there's not actually so much that you have to worry about in the Dark Age, and getting off to a very good start at the beginning of the game can set you off on the right foot for the rest of the game. In this yeah, situation, um, the red player here, he's going to get up to the Feudal Age first, and on a water map, uh, that could be very crucial, um, as getting out those first galleys, picking off some fishing ships before your opponent can even get any galleys out, can really make quite a big difference. Mm -hmm. But he, he, he went for the back dock, so... He he won't attack a uh, player one so early in the game. Yeah, it won't be so, it won't be so early, no. But he is going to get feudal a decent time uh, in comparison. Um, but he seems to be sorting out his economy a bit better now, anyway. Um, I think he's got what's that? Four on berries, which is correct. Um, three to um, gold right now, and he's split his lumber as well. So this is it's a bit better than what it was before. <laughs> mhm. Mm yes, absolutely. Balance that. Uh, out. One important thing about the Dark Age is that the build order is important because you need to master your economy and make it the, the best you can, especially on maps uh, with water that you need to upgrade fast, you know, mm -hmm. because it makes a huge difference on how 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 good you do with your economy on the Dark Age. makes a difference on how good you will, you will do on the feudal, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely. 
so always be careful with the build order on Dark Age, very yeah. important. They're both up to feudal now, and Red's already got his three docks, and um, when you're going to be rushing, it's, it's pretty standard to see three docks, isn't it? And at the moment, Blue only has his one dock, and one thing that I usually try and aim to do, or see a lot of people try and aim to do, is get three by the time you reach feudal, or at least be finishing your third once you reach feudal. Mm -hmm. Because then exactly. it gets your rush off to a better start. And obviously at this stage, Red's now going to be creating three galleys at once, and Blue at this stage can only create one. But I think uh, Blue is not crushing, is he? I think he might be aiming for fast castle. Yeah, it looks like he's going to do a sort of fast castle. It won't be that fast, but he is starting to add galleys in, so he knows that uh, an attack on the water is likely. Um, I think I can't what see. Yeah, he's getting bit axed straight away, which is good, and he should probably get horse collar before he uh, moves these villagers to farms as well. Mm -hmm. What I think he's gonna do is try to fake rush, try to kill some red fishing ships and maybe land. I don't know, but that's that's what I think he's gonna do. Yeah, well, it looks because like he's he... gonna go fast castle anyway. Um, mm -hmm. He's gonna have just about enough gold, he's a little bit low on food, he probably should have gone for the rest of those deer. Um, but he should just about be able to make it up to castle um, in a decent time. So look at what this guy's doing. This guy is going full grush here. Uh, four docks now. Galleys coming out from all of them, and um, a, an economy set up for making galleys. Though he hasn't got enough uh, gold collectors. Kind of mm -hmm. interesting, actually. <laughs> One thing I don't know is why Red is taking so much time to attack. Like he's delaying too much, and he has no no information about what player one is doing. That's one important thing, also. Like scouting. Uh, mm -hmm. You need to know as fast as you can what your enemy is doing, because uh, imagine if player one went to straight landing, player two would have no no idea on what yeah, he yeah. was doing, right? Definitely. Uh, I, By the time he realized that player one was not rushing, uh, player one would have probably two ranges and a lot of archers inside uh, yeah. in the red land. And that would be obviously GG for him because GG. he can't transition quickly enough. Uh, he's actually making his blacksmith now, so he's going to go for fletching um, soon. But I, I think blue here, he's going to go castle in just a second. He's got the resources, he just needs the blacksmith and the market this stage, he'll probably go for market, won't he? And starting to, yeah, he's not making any galleys at the moment either. But one thing that you should probably do is send a fishing ship forwards, one fishing ship, just to see what your opponent's doing with docks and such. Mm -hmm. If you can see, for instance, that uh, Red could have seen that Blue only had one dock at the start, uh, as soon as he got into Feudal Age, so he could have had a bit of a suspicion there that something was up, something was different. Also, as mm -hmm. well, I'm not really sure why Red has gone all the way around the outside here instead of checking the front. I think because he saw that player 1 upgraded really late on Feudal, so he assumed that uh, player 1 had back dock as well, you know? But like, you said about scouting with the fishing ship, but usually yeah. players do the front dock, so they don't really need to uh, use the fishing ship to explore, you know? Because you upgrade really fast and you already know a sort of where the enemy will be and yeah. you just go there as fast as you can and then you already see what he's doing you know if he's not rushing <coughs> if he's what not rushing then you do a transport ship or something and you land and attack and gg you know yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> well um red he's he's got his fletching blue doesn't at this stage um but it seems like he has more galleys which is which is really weird because he's had a Less docks for longer, but he seems to have more galleys at the moment. Um, but he's going up to castle, and he's going to get there so much further ahead of red in this game. Mm -hmm. It would be quite cool to see uh, blue go for a landing, actually. That's what he should do. That's what he should have done already, you know. Mm. Especially because I don't think he's aiming for Grush, is he? Well, he's making galleys, but he's not really... He stopped making them from all dots. <laughs> mm. Also, I 
think he's no, I'm not sure. He's probably outnumbered. Yeah, he's outnumbered now on the water. So he's he mm -hmm. probably is gonna lose the water here. Yeah, he's probably gonna wait to cast or try yeah. to do the upgrades. Upgrades, yeah. But th that's the thing. Red did a really bad move there, going uh, on the back of the uh, player one island. He should have went to the front. He would have killed a lot earlier the fishing ships. No? Yeah. And he would have oh. got the galleys uh, sooner as well, before he can mm -hmm. upgrade them to war galleys. Yeah, but, but you can see that... Oh, sorry, go on. I was going to say, one thing I think right now is, is you were right about the landing. If Blue had actually gone and landed um, with some villagers, he'd be able to get a transport ship over there really easily. Uh, but mm -hmm. now, obviously, Red knows where his docks are, he's going to keep them sort of locked down. If he'd have mm -hmm. sent a couple of villagers over, he'd already have the villagers there, he could have built the barracks and the archery range out of sight, and then gone up to castle, he could have already been making archers, um, and then upgrade them straight away and attack. Yeah, exactly. And also, uh, Red has a really big number of boats right now, so even player 1 upgrades the boats, just by mickering, player 2 can kill all of the galleys, you know? Yeah, because... It's not so hard to kill yeah. them. Galleys are faster than war galleys, and well, I don't know about the level of micro to expect. Um, sorry, alarm was going off. Um, I don't really know about the level of micro to expect, but I'm sure it won't be too bad. <laughs> so there we go. War galley is 71, 72 percent, but he's got to be careful because he needs to finish it before the dock goes down, um, and it's looking pretty close right now. Yeah, he's going to get it just in time. That was actually really close. <laughs> it's like Red knew which dock to focus down. Mm -hmm. So Blue is now going to be making these war galleys, and I imagine at this stage Red is going to be trying to catch up to Blue and get up to the Castle Age. Um, but he's still creating quite a lot of galleys, so I don't know if he's going to continue to make galleys or if he's going to try and upgrade. Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> he has a lot of wood. He could make he could be make so many galleys right now. <laughs> uh, Swiss boy is saying m maybe Zach should speed up a little bit. It's quite a long one. Oh, okay. No it's a long game. Okay, interesting. Okay, how is the sound by the way? Because it sounds really loud to me, but I don't know if it is. Oh, it's on mute. Just a second. Okay. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, my 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 voice is a little bit uh, low. Oh, I don't know if I can turn you up. But yours is good. Okay, uh, maybe you could turn yourself up because I I can't turn Skype up anymore. It's on max. Oh no, it's cool. They they're saying it's okay. Oh, okay, cool. So at this stage, Swiss boy is gonna gain quite a big advantage. He's already mm -hmm. sent Red back. Red didn't micro his galleys, and Swiss Boy has got Bodkin Arrow and War Galley upgraded. So this is pretty good for him. He's in a good situation. He's also got two uh, town centers out as well. Oh god. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's already got two town centers out as well. So his economy is going to get rolling. He's got stone coming in. He's got a lot of gold coming in. Mm -hmm. His economy is going to grow really fast right now. Yeah. Uh, Red is not a uh, castle yet, is he? No. He's still a hundred food to go. Well, sixty food to go. Um, but he's got two thousand wood. At this stage, I, if I had that much wood and my economy was unbalanced, I would have had to build a market because he's going to have to build a market anyway because he still doesn't have his second feudal age building. I would have built a market, which he's doing now. Sold some of that wood and bought perhaps a little bit of gold and, and just got up to castle a bit faster and balanced mm -hmm. the resources out a bit more. Whoa, he has a lot of wood yeah. indeed. <laughs> but he is going up to castle now, so he's going to start catching up a little bit, but I think Swiss Boy is going to gain quite a nice little uh, lead here, and he should probably use that to his advantage at this stage. Mm -hmm. He's getting quite a bit of stone, so he could be looking to get enough stone for a castle perhaps, and then land and, and do a castle drop. You mean Swiss Boy? Yeah. Yes, but uh, I would say that maybe he should also do a landing with crossbows, especially because uh, player 2 is getting so long to upgrade and he already has uh, like a lot of boats. What yeah. he should do is try to uh, attack with the boats because he has the advantage of being castle yeah. and at the same time try to land uh, in the front of player 2 base because he knows that player 2 went for a back dock. So yeah. even if you land, you still have a big advantage because player 2 can't really uh, uh, kill the, the archer ranges, you know, without yeah, the water. Yeah, yeah. Totally. But, 
I think it's gonna be a big water yeah, fight. Yeah, they're gonna go massively water, I think. Red here, he's just upgraded War Galley. I imagine he's getting a uh, vodka arrow. Um, it's funny because Red has so many wood that he mm. could sell some of them and just and go make a straight lot more. to the he could Oh go yeah, he could actually. Village. He could go straight to <laughs> I didn't realize yeah. that. He's got a lot of food as well. Um, so I have no idea why he has the stables, by the way. Yeah, I did wonder that because maybe he's thinking, oh, I'm going to land some knights perhaps. Um, that could work. Knights yeah, require but... a little bit less micro than, um, than crossbows. So for a lower level player, I think knights are, are more more likely to be chosen over crossbows. But he 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 doesn't have the the front door, so yeah, it's kind of useless. Maybe he he thought that maybe player two, player one was gonna land him, then that's why he made the stable. Yeah, maybe could be. That's the only explanation I see right now because it's gonna take too much time to try yeah, to do something. Yeah. Quick. I'd say at the moment, they're actually looking pretty even on the water. Obviously, Blue has quite a few uh, boats back here. Um, the thing is, this whole water battle is kind of unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, the only reason that they're having a water battle right now is to keep the water control. But it wouldn't matter if you already landed them and were wreaking havoc on their base. Which mm -hmm. he's had a lot of opportunities to do. Um, it's almost like it's a water map. That means we've got to have a battle on the water. That's what I'm kind of thinking right now. That might be really loud. I can't even hear you over the boats. <laughs> well, let's turn that down a bit. But yeah, good victory by Swiss Boy on the water there. Um, cleared up red and red's got nothing left now he's on what's that five six or seven galleys so really good by him he used patrol um and i think he outnumbered him as well so he's doing pretty good on the water he's had water control for a long while he needs to go and land at this stage really mm -hmm. also walling off a little bit as well so that's pretty good if if red does land on this side then uh, of course he's got these walls to keep himself safe so good thinking there Ballistics as well coming up and mainly I think just now working on his economy. Fairly decent at booming. Um, that's been okay and castle here. Not really sure why. Oh by the way, that's that's one thing sometimes uh, it's not worth to fight so much in the water, you know? Yeah. Uh, if you see that you, you won't be landed so easily and you don't have like boats too close to the, to the coast, sometimes you should invest more in the economy, try to go into the range first because uh, then you can also always do a castle near the coast and start doing galleons and there's yeah. no way the other guy can stop it. So no, going for yeah. a is really important, but you, you, you need to be extra careful with uh, landing, yeah. you know? That's, right, now, that's Red, what... right now, Red could go Imperial. I don't know if he's going to do it, but he could. And oh, he's, yeah, he's really close. He started making Knights as well. Um, I don't oh. really know what his plan for this is. He's making a dock on the front, so it looks like he's going to try and land those Knights. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see how it's that gonna one goes. Really it's going to be really risky. It's going to be risky, because he's lost the water now. Blue Can you has. take a look if he has uh, the upgrade for the boats or the transport ship? Uh, oh, he doesn't have any boats. Okay. No, he has no boats, but... Wait, how do you see if they've researched it? I can't remember. You're supposed to be able uh, to see whether they've researched it or not in the tech tree. Yes, if it's green, I think it's researched. Oh. But it's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> it doesn't, no, I don't think it works like that. Really? No. Allah have told me once, but I forgot. Because so. <laughs> because thumb ring is is researched, and he wouldn't have had thumb ring if he's not got an archery range. But nevertheless, I he's gonna build oh, a transport ship. I see now. If it's uh, lighter, the the color it's researched, I think. And if it's uh, uh, darker, it's not. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it must be. So he's not researched careening. Um, so his transport ship is only gonna have five. Um, Five, but I think Swiss boy here with his uh, boats on the front, he's probably gonna notice this. Um, let's look at his line of sight here. 
yeah, he, he's really close. As soon as the transport ship comes out of here, he's going to see it straight away. He can probably focus that down um, and kill it before the knights come over. But at this stage, the Swiss boy should probably... Well, we've been saying this for a while, but he should land. He shouldn't be afraid of landing, because he's built this castle here, and that's a very, very defensive thing to do. And considering he's actually got the water control, he shouldn't really be worried about defending so much. He should be getting really aggressive at this stage, and actually, he should have probably dropped that castle onto uh, Red's side. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially because he has the front uh, of the map, so it's really important. Yeah. You can easily land there if you have the front. Of course, it's only a short crossing. He's also spotted this now. I don't know why he's Whoa. not chased it because those knights are going to come in and I think he's probably going to be okay um, he's got town centers fairly like regular intervals and he's also he's replenished ready, ready. Uh, no he's not in castle he's... whoa oh he didn't even send knights he sent villagers to build stables look at this red has got so much resource right now he could go imperial he could make a hundred boats he could oh god <laughs> He has a lot of resources, yeah. Yeah, I'd say at this state, very bad resource management from red. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And obviously now, Luke can harass him from the shoreline as well. This is going to be a bit of a problem though. And I think... Blue is seen, yeah, he knows that's there. His house that, is that's... obviously giving him line of sight. And he's yeah, but that's the off. thing. Red is investing on the economy and Blue is making too much boats. He already won the water, so there's no explanation on why he keep he's still doing the boats, you know, he should have yeah. stopped it. Well, uh, as I was saying earlier, oftentimes when people win the water, they stop making boats, and then the opponent ends up catching them off guard and killing them. Well, but that's that's the that thing. When you won the water, you, you have to sure. spread your yeah, you spread your arm out over the, the enemy uh, yeah. land. That's what I was gonna so say. You, you, know, can, you can check the shoreline, make sure the docks get built. So mm -hmm. he could do that. Um, and I think Red here, he's probably, I, I would say Red has probably lost the game at this stage. There's no reason why Red should win this game now. Mm -hmm. This boy is already really close to upgrading the rage as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I think he's... But the thing but is, since this boy said it's a long game, maybe it wasn't over. Well, yeah, I'm thinking the same. He started he's making a siege workshop, he's got a few knights, he's frantically walling. So at this stage, He's just clicked up to Imperial. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if that was such a good idea. Because he knows that Red is here, he knows he's got Knights, and he knows he's got two Siege Workshops. Chances are, the Red is going to try and batter, his, batter Ram through here, um, make some Mangonels or whatever. Let's have a look, he's probably going to make Rams. No, he's making Mangonels and Rams. And get through. So. He's going to obviously invest a lot of resources in going Imperial. At this stage, he really needs to be making some army to deal with what he's about to be faced with, really. Mm -hmm. So I can't really see that. It wouldn't be so hard because Viking Viking knights are just useless sometimes. Mm. Without the bloodlines, you know? Yeah, without the bloodlines. But he's upgraded their he defense. Can really... Sorry, go on. He's upgraded their defense, they can still do quite a bit of damage, especially here, for instance. That could be a lot of dead villagers. Um, that he needs to kind of do something to deal with this, uh, because at the moment, one siege workshop is not going to be enough. What he should do is uh, pig, uh, pigments, because pigments don't like uh, uh, affect too much your economy. Yeah. They're also, really yeah. cheap. He's got a lot of wood, he's got a lot of food, he could do that quite easily. He doesn't really have much gold, and I just looked over at his economy here. He's actually got very few gold collectors. What he should do is uh, reassign some villagers of the wood to yeah. take gold, and also especially to take stone. He needs to place maybe another castle, yes. and he has too many on the wood, yeah. so that's why he has 3,000 3, of wood. Yeah, 42 lumberjacks, 10 miners, 17 farmers. Maybe a 10 off lumber onto mining um, mm -hmm. and then maybe another 5 onto food to even things out a little bit that would probably the, be the best thing to do at the moment and actually something you can do even when you're playing just click on the little economy tab just to actually see the actual mm -hmm. um, distribution of your villagers 
like you, you don't necessarily have to do that you just feel that uh like if you take a look on your economy and you yeah. see that one of them is just going too fast for yeah. example the wood right there you just reassign them and also uh, he should try to uh, sell some of the wood because he has too much and he yeah. needs gold as, fa as, as fast as he can yeah. so selling would be really good for him yeah uh, a lot of, and a lot also of people reassigning will... sorry god sorry. reassigning the villager is really really important and uh, new players and like lower skill players usually don't do that, but that's really important, you know. Mm -hmm. Also, as well, um, a lot of uh, less less good players they don't really use the market, and the market is a mm. really powerful tool, as you just said. And it actually looks to me like Red did sell off a lot of his resources. He's, look at that goal! <sighs> Incredible. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so he has a lot of yeah. He's also taking this gold here, which he's managed to secure. Mm -hmm. So, right now, we see that Red is making um, knights. Is he going to upgrade these? That's the thing. I'm curious to know if he's actually going to upgrade those or not. He's probably going to upgrade it. Yeah. And that's that's one bad thing for Blue, because he doesn't have, he's not making a defense in case uh, he gets in, you know? He's not doing barracks, yeah. is he? No. I don't see barracks coming, so he should have done... Uh, Pikmin's really important because yeah. uh, a lot of knights there, and he, you can see that Red is trying as uh, so hard to get in. You know, it's mm -hmm. like his his last row hope on this game. Yeah. Well, I'm wondering what Red's gonna upgrade first. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's a lot of iron villages right there. They should be moved over here and even here. He's also almost got enough for a castle. If he puts a castle up, that could be really bad for Blue in this situation. Um, what is he upgrading? He's getting cavalry. I thought he would. Um, not really the best choice to go with heavy cavalry with Vikings. If you look at the tech tree, well, they have no paladins, they have no bloodlines, and I can't remember their cavalry armor upgrades. Um, let's have a quick look. Yeah, oh, they don't get the boys. final upgrade. Swiss boy is saying to speed up again. Oh. Maybe it is. Uh, it's a really, it really long game. Okay. <laughs> but well, no, nah, it's, it's okay. It's an interesting game. Yeah. Watch. But my point about the knights is that Vikings really not such a good idea to go with knights and cavalier. Um, mm -hmm. Just because they're really weak in the late game compared to other sims. Obviously, Swiss boy is going to have the same same because he's viking still but a better option is to go for arbalest and yeah arbalest <laughs> and pike like, and as well mm, knights oh, we are go. knights without blood lines are not so bad like if you can uh, raid without being hit by the, the town centers it's actually a really good unit to hate raid uh, villagers but because vikings has such a like a strong economy yeah. it's not such a work a thing to do, uh, try to raid uh, villagers, you know? Yeah, true. Against Vikings. But there we go, cuts a bit. A few pikemen, clean it up. And the thing with the, the cavalier Vikings, well, they can't upgrade to, to uh, Paladin, and they don't get the final um, final armor upgrade, so they are really kind of weak if you do get caught by pikemen. So, mm -hmm. especially in a 1v1 where you can't trade, and gold is kind of like a really important resource, it's yeah. kind of not a good idea to be investing it into heavy cavalry and then throwing them away. Mm -hmm. But as you, you said, know, for raiding, they're okay. You know what? What I would do if I was player two right now, Red, I would yeah. like just keep uh, faking the landing, faking I was still trying to to rush on the land, you know, mm -hmm. and take that gold that he's doing right now. Yeah. But also, I would definitely try to go water right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good time to try to go back you in could water. Do. Swiss boy at this stage, he has 88 warships. Um, that is a lot of ships. Uh, as you can see, there they are everywhere. But that that's not a bad thing. It's good that he's got that many. Um, but well, it's not necessarily good that he's got that many. He doesn't need that many. Um, but he is pretty secure on the water right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but like he d he doesn't have the the coast covered. No, like, he doesn't. Left he's got and right the so, so right, uh -huh. right now, Red could be building docks along here. Um, yeah. And, and regain the water. Um, so that's one thing to try and remember to do. Actually, space your ships out. Uh, if they're not attacking, use them as as your eyes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Um, missed that. Red's actually now going for two-handed swordsman champion. 
Mm. Interesting, because he knows that uh, Blue is not making any um, Wichita Flakes uh, archers or anything, so they'd be good against the pikemen. And of course, Vikings have pretty good infantry. Blue is letting red affect his economy too much. He should have tried to wall that back on mm. the front of the landing, you know. Yeah. That are getting they they are getting a lot of uh, two-handed in, inside of his base. So that's not good for him. Uh, red is being successful and doing some damage on him. That's not good for him also. Yeah, moving forward as well. And now they're champions. Oh, that's not good for so player one. So once these get upgraded with the extra, once they get upgraded with the defense and attack, they can take down town centers pretty quickly, even without siege. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Cool. He's probably kind of lost in what he should do right now. You know. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, feeling that. Some players get usually players get lost on what they should do next when they're being rushed. You know, and yeah. even they have such a big advantage, they might lose because of that. So yeah. you need to be like extra calm in the situations and try to come up with what you should do really fast. You know, yeah. Uh, doing doing big things now is not the best idea. So you should probably try to trade and do archers, right? Uh -huh. And also really important that you should do uh, trebuchets to kill this castle right there. Player two, no he really yeah. needs to kill this landing. It's affecting too much his economy, and also the castle got uh, his main stone, I think. Yeah, his two main stones. So that's not good for him. No, but he could he could already be making trebuchets to take down this castle right now. Mm -hmm. um, if we have a look at his economy, he's got a lot of resources, and I think what you said is true. He's not really sure what he needs to be doing right now. Um, in my opinion. Archers, um, crossbow, are blessed would be a really good thing to do right now. Obviously against these champions, um, he knows that red is going to go quite heavy into that. So yeah, I but he could archers... even do champions as well if he Whoa! wanted. <laughs> red just deleted his castle. <laughs> oh, that's bad for him. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he could even go champions, but I don't really like champions that much. I think they're just too slow. Um, and now, as you see, it's really affecting his economy. A lot of island villagers. Um, he needs to go cut wood over here and sort his economy out a bit. Mm -hmm. But this game he still it, has a lot of resources. Yeah. But this what game could... could be over so much faster, though. It could have been finished by now if he'd have landed. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, like two, two really important things is that one, you always try to take the Braddock if he is going for post Imperial Age, it makes such a big difference. So getting on castle as fast as you can is really really important, makes a big big difference on the late game. And also, uh, if you're playing one versus one, it's really important that you if you have too much like wood, for example, like this boy have, uh, he should always try to sell as much as he can, you know? Yeah. Uh, because uh, if you're not gonna do it, the, other, the enemy will, and he will get uh, gold that you can't really let him take it, you know? Yeah, gold especially in 1v1. So in a, in a one, 1v1 that goes to the late game, getting your gold is, is so important, and conserving your gold as well. Yeah. Like at, at the moment, even, he's making even, pikemen, so he's not really spending it, but when it comes to actually spending it, he's gonna get through it qu pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Because even you don't, you're not gonna use it right now. It's still really important that you save gold, gold for later. Because you never know when you're gonna need it, right? Yeah. So even you are almost sure you never will use it anymore because you're doing hussars or pigments or something like that. You never know. Uh, if you get to really late average, that can make a difference on the game. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so a lot Wait, of champions are coming. He's actually holding him off for the time being. Red is losing a lot of units. He's still he's got the lowest score. His economy can't be great. Um, yeah, it's a bit messy over this side. Yep. But he's harassing uh, player one economy a lot mm -hmm. just by doing that. Even if he's losing a lot of champions, that's not really good for player one. But you can see that player two's economy is not the best. But he has a big advantage there because he has two golds. He's taking two golds yeah, from Yeah, he has got a lot more gold. He's got 2.6k right now. And actually, 
blue actually has more gold because red is throwing so much gold away um, with these champions. He's had to upgrade them and that's obviously cost him quite a lot. He's also lost quite a lot and he's actually thrown a lot of gold away there. Uh, what, sh what he should be doing is maybe trebuchets, rams, uh, champions and he could even do Siege Scorpions, that would be really, really easy to kill just yeah, by the Yeah, Heavy Scorpions, man. look at that, they just... Oh, heavy Scorpions are amazing. <laughs> they used to be my favourite unit in the game. I just, oh, every yeah. time, Black Forest, if you play that, Heavy Scorpions are great. <laughs> yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> Especially when you've got like a perfect line of infantry, it's just like, pow, pow, pow. Um, <laughs> and they're all dead. Yup. That's cool. But also, uh, one thing as well, gonna... red, red needs more military production buildings. Three barracks isn't enough. Yes. Because uh, who do you think is gonna win this game, by the way? I think Blue's gonna win it. Really? Mm. Mm. Interesting. I, I have no idea. He, sh he should have won it already. And he, he could have won it already many yeah. times. Can but... you take a look at the upgrades of the units to see if it's all upgraded? Red has uh, plus two attack but no defense. Blue has plus four defense, no attack. Oh, that's that's one thing also really important. I always uh, do the upgrades. Really, really uh -huh. important. No, it makes so much difference. Yeah, and, exactly. And Red just deleted his um, his barracks again, or, or the castle killed it. Oh. <laughs> but at the moment, what's happening is Red isn't producing um, champions fast enough. So even though Blue is losing a lot more units, because he's not spending gold on them, he, and he's got a lot more barracks, he can just keep throwing them away until they eventually Red gets worn down. If we look at how much gold um, Blue actually has, he's got a lot more still, and of course then he can spend that on upgrades, ideally, or uh, more expensive units later on, which are, is going to win in the game. Mm -hmm. But seriously, what uh, player one should be doing right now is because he has uh, the water, you know, and he can easily defend the champions with only arbalets. He he could try to land player two in the same time. Uh -huh. You know, if he does a harassment in the player two economy, it's gonna be GG really fast. He has a lot of boats that he's not using. So if he needs a uh, population, he he could delete them. Yeah, he could delete them. Mm -hmm. Trying to attack the other guy in the same time. If you okay. have the a lot of resources like Swiss boy have, it's really good. Now this is confusing. Why is he making elite skirmishes? Mm, I think he wants to save gold, but he has a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But well, he's gonna win this. He's gonna push Red back. That's for sure. He's let Red take his gold for quite some time now, though, which is a bit of a problem. But elite skirmishes really not a good choice at this stage, especially against champions. If he made archers arbalest, um, then he would tear through them so quickly. Um, but. Yeah, uh, elite skirmishes. Not quite sure why. This could yeah, be a long it's way. not. Such a, it's really not good against uh, champions. But you, you have to think that the champions don't, doesn't have the defense upgrade today. No, so <laughs> they are but not. They have really they're fully upgraded on the attack, so they're doing quite a bit of damage actually. Oh, but yeah, red's getting baited. Yeah. <laughs> not good. So Red, his push has pretty much failed, although he's got more villagers over here still. And he's starting to make more barracks. Oh mm -hmm. man, Blue should have won this one. so long ago. <laughs> yeah, he has, he has a lot of boats that he's not using. That's that's why I said maybe if he landed player 2 would be really good for him, because player, player 2 is like aiming, focusing totally just on the landing, you know? Yeah. So he, he doesn't have the fence on his base. He yeah. wouldn't expect a landing like that. Yeah. I'm just wondering why Blue isn't spending his gold. I, I know it's, it's good to save your gold, but at this stage he's got so much more than Red has. Red's almost out and Blue has got all of this gold that he could have spent and he could have got Red off his island already. He could have already gone over and landed. Um, so that's kind of confusing to me. That's one thing Sweet Boy should have done a long time ago is a ram or trebuchet because he's just trying to kill the army yeah. but he should try to kill the buildings there, yeah. you know, try to kill them as if you can to take out the landing, it's really important. The red is just feeding here, he should just stop making units in this location because yeah. even though, even though 
he's got a few buildings now, he's still not going to be able to kill this with the stronger yeah. units. It's just not going to happen. There's no way yet. He should... Maybe he should even give up on the landing. I would go, try to go water again. But yeah, that's the it's too late now. He's got no gold left. This right yeah. here is GG, man. You think so? Yeah, but it's, it could be a trash war for a very long time. It could be a very long trash war. Indeed, he has no gold, so that's not good yeah. for him. He no spent problem. too much gold on the Cavaliers and the Champions. He wasted too yeah. much there. Uh, what he should have done, uh, player 2 as well, he should have done Rams. That would be amazing for him because player 1 was doing only defense, so Rams yeah. and Champions would be really strong against that combo. Yeah, anyway, also upgrading the units is really important. If you are trying to land someone, you should definitely go and do the, the upgrades for the defense. Yeah. Red is lacking a lot of upgrades. He's still throwing his champions away. Um, he's got plus one defense. He's got plus four attack. He's missing the other defense uh, defense upgrades though. And uh, defensive upgrades are so good as well. Yes, yeah, one of the most important things in the game. The upgrades are like they make a huge difference. Yeah. yeah. They make so much oh. difference, a lot more difference than you actually assume as well. Mm -hmm. Player 1 is actually losing a lot of army there. Yeah, but look at look at his economy though, he's still got more food and more wood than... Oh no, yeah, in total he's got more than red still, so I think he's kind of still okay. But as for upgrades, imagine if you have 40 pikemen and then you get plus 1 attack. You've just added an extra 40 attack. And they only have four attack anyway, so that's if you get one upgrade to forty pikemen, that's adding another ten pikemen for free. Exactly. Well, they not for free, but the price of the upgrade. It's so worth it. And they they do less hits to kill one champion as well. So. so oh, by the way, end up taking less damage. Player one should be taking the stone also. He has two stones, two big stones yeah. that he's not taking. And a uh, lot of gold still. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think I now. see some hot from red on the left side. So, on what? On his left side of his island, his dock. No. Or it's not. No, it's not. Oh, I think red, so this is game over for red. I think it just depends how long red decides that, you know what, I can actually survive. Mm -hmm. Because at this stage, it's not going to be possible for Red to, once he's lost this, it's not going to be possible for him to go and land again. Mm -hmm. Well, it could be, but it's unlikely. Uh, but so I, I, I would go... Left, actually. I would go definitely water if I was Red, but he, d he doesn't have gold anymore, so... No, it's not the question, good. really. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he's, he's killing a lot of units there. He's oh, actually... he's going water as well. Docks over here, but Blue's already got stuff. Oh, is he? Town bell wrong, though. I told you he had some docks on the left side. Let me just... Oh, he's starting to make docks everywhere. But I think Red is going to get found out as soon as he starts to build them, because Blue's everywhere now on this shoreline. Yep. And he, he also doesn't have gold for that, so he can't really afford trying to go back no. in the water. He already... He, I think the, uh, the market's really bad right now. Um, oh can no, it's not. He could sell still. He could sell food still. Oh. He has a lot of food. <laughs> he does. Also a lot of stone. But he can't really... That's the thing. He can't really put castles because player one has bombard galleons. Yeah. So... Definitely. Uh, yeah, I think it's no docks. <laughs> I I think this is it. It. Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. Uh, players still letting player two, player one still letting player two inherit the economy uh, with the landing, and there's just two barracks there, isn't it? Yeah, and look how many look how many uh, champions he's managed to make just by not being <laughs> not, not killing it. And the champions still doesn't have the upgrades, does for them? Yeah, they do now. They they fully upgraded now. Oh, that's dangerous now, because they are really strong against yeah. Team Retreat now. But he still doesn't yeah. have that many, so he's still not going to be able to do much. Oh yeah, but... I mean, look how many pikemen are there. Mm -hmm. D does player 1 have the upgrade for the pikemen now? No, just the attack, uh, defense, no attack. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a really good... 
thing for good tip for him always be careful with the upgrade yeah also he doesn't have the galleons upgrade he should have done it because uh, if Red does try and take water back, you're going to want galleons, obviously. Mm -hmm. And also because they, they have, I think, plus one range, right? So mm, yeah. they could they could kill more creatures um, on the coast of the land. Looks like he's trying to take out this barracks. Um, hell of a lot of oh. effort. Oh, now he's saying something about, do you want to resign now or something? Um, Finally, some siege rams. Yeah. And I think that's it. That's got to be GG. Surely. Okay, it's got two. to be. No, he can't lose that ram. Oh, he lost the ram. Oh my god. Come on. You can do it. You can take that barracks down and you can GG it. Yeah. GG? Resign this do? No, not yet. Ne jeunge must mich slon laden. Dan Khan Ik Gesu Defen. I don't know what that means. You are really good at Swiss. I, I really have no idea, man. So Did Red basically the... can't win this game now. He has no gold. He has no wood. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of food and a lot of stone. I mean, I suppose he could put a castle on the shore, but Blue has um, cannon galleons. Oh my god, he's making all the Player 1 should have won this game a long time ago, like one hour ago. Yeah, he should have, yeah, he probably could have won it an hour ago. Um, he's trying to save water back. Red's gonna die. Where is he? Where is he? He's, uh, he's taking gold from. He's taking gold from. Well, he took gold here. He's got a lot of gold here. Um, at the moment, I don't think he's taking gold anywhere on his island. I think it's all gone. Uh, but it looks oh. like he might have relics. It, oh, he has relics? Oh, I see that. Nope, he doesn't have relics. I think on player one island there is four relics. Am I wrong? Three. No, four, yeah. Oh. Oh, that, no, actually, no, they're all, on, they're all on player one's island. Oh, that's cool. Nice hack. Oh, yeah, <laughs> if it was hacks, yeah, so it, it would have been over by now. <laughs> um, yeah, I can see how red is going to come back from this. Without any gold, how is he going to make enough ships to combat it? Mm, yeah, but you never know, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you never know. But this is what I was saying at the very start of the game. How, in a lower rated game, you can't predict what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, the, these games are really fun to watch. That, that's... Yeah, I know what you mean. They are quite fun. Has Red noticed uh, the landing? See in the chat, we'll be over soon, just be strong <laughs> Just be strong for a few more minutes Okay, uh, Long Swordsman, we're gonna see champions, he's spending his gold Oh cool, he landed Yeah, and I think that's gonna be it he's... What can Red do, apart from Mass Pike? He has a lot of resources still He's gonna spend his gold here anyway Probably a few dead bodies on his own island. Yeah, look, he killed them all. <laughs> he should uh, delete some of these boats right now. He has too yeah, many. He doesn't need the boats, especially. Oh no, there's one. There's one relic on uh, on Red's island. But he doesn't need these anyway. All these. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah. GG. GG. Sure. Called it. <laughs> Finito. Finito? Kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Hopefully you can learn a lot from it though. Está acabado? Are you talking okay, to me? Okay, Or your mum? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, G. hopefully people can learn a lot from it anyway. Um, that would uh, be cool. What I'd like to do is after I finish the review of the game is uh, explain why uh, the other guy lost and why the, the the guy that sent the record game should have done better, you know? Okay. So, we started? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we've already said a lot of the reasons why. Um. Yeah, but like, you need to see what kind of map you're playing, right? So, yeah. uh, it's Team Island, so uh, usually you want to go front dock, because uh, you have such a big island, that if you go back dock and your enemy goes front dock, he can easily land you, and you 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 have no information on what he's doing. So 
therefore even if he, you see his landing you're gonna have a huge problem trying to take it out because he's gonna have galleys uh, close to the water you know close to the coast of the map so going front dock is really really important on this kind of maps and also uh, going fast as fast as you can to field though also really important so you can see on this game Swiss boy didn't have such a good uh, build order so that's one thing he really needs to improve if he wants to get better you know yeah uh, his build order is really important that that he he watches uh, expert players and try to copy the build order try to do the best economy as he can on dark age because he needs to upgrade uh, before 90 minutes to field though and he can't do mill and farms on the dark age uh, on these kind of maps yeah uh, also uh, can I <laughs> keep yeah, saying carry on. That's fine. okay so also uh, because he saw that player 2 had back dogs uh, on the castle age uh, when he upgraded Castle Age and he has a lo had a lot of resources, uh, would be a really nice idea to try landing player two because player two got uh, delayed a lot his castle. So imagine if player one had done some knights or crossbows, would be totally GG for player two. So if you see that your enemy is back dog, uh, always really good thing to try landing. You know. Because you have like the the advantage of being uh, of having your boat on the front, so even if the enemy try to take out your buildings, he will have a really hard time because he can't really yeah. go there with the, his galleys. You've got and... your boats behind it as well, so yes, if you exactly. build close to the shore with your boats behind, you're protecting your villagers with your boats. Mm -hmm. And also because uh, on this map, if the other guy is black dog, you kind of as assume that he's going fast castle. So really important to try landing or something like that, Slow you know. Him down. Mm -hmm, because you don't want him to go castle and I don't know try to boom or just go and try to land you. That's one thing you really don't want, right? Because you're investing a lot of on grush, yeah. so your economy is kind of uh, fucked. So yeah, that's one thing you always need to to be careful. Definitely. Um, uh, also important thing is be careful with the upgrades, right? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> so many makes, times we say that. Yeah, it makes a huge, huge difference. So be careful with that. And yeah, that's that's what I had to say. Yeah, by the end they managed to get most of them, apart from Ring Archer. Um, but I think yeah, I think I think it was clear that Blue was gonna win all along. Um, mm -hmm. I believe that he could have won a much faster, much much faster, um, easily an hour and ten less than it took. Uh -huh. um, as you said, he was front docked, his opponent was slow to go castle, um, and he could have very easily landed and some knights or some crossbows and took out a lot of villagers. And that probably probably would have been GG for red because he would never have landed here and mm -hmm. never been such a nuisance. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I, I love to review these kind of games. I love when people <laughs> ask to review games, you know, because that means they want to get better, right? Yeah, that's and a good thing. I, I love when people try to get better because this is so good for the game, you know. Uh, we need oh, yeah, new, new good players. We need new experts. So, yeah. GG. Interesting game. Really interesting. I think I have to go, man. <laughs> okay, no worries. Um... I have to study. I have uh, <laughs> college exams, man. Yeah, I'm so I sad. Know. It's not good. At least they'll yeah. be over next week. Yeah. That's what matters. Mm -hmm. It's all gonna be Friday. Done. Be, oh my god! I will <laughs> post that uh, that video of the the film on the Facebook. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you know freedom, freedom. Yeah, you should. Did, oh yeah, are you gonna do it? <laughs> you should do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <That'd> be great. <laughs> okay, man. So I talk to you later. Okay, we need to do your interview at some point as well. Oh, it's cool. Uh huh. But uh, I uh.